What we got here, bud? Big old monster truck? Big old monster. Welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. Okay. Are we working on bulldozers today? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. We got something super extra special. You guys can see in the sun, we got some big old HET heavy equipment transporters. We've got three sitting here. I got one more on the way at the moment. Um, Hunter's got the service truck out. So all these are what they call in ops. Do not run. What do you find? Outline hurt. I'll get over it in the sun so these people can see. So they call these a heavy equipment transporter. They're rated to pull, I think, 280,000 pounds. I'll have to brush up on my HET stuff. So they got an 8V92 Detroit in them, 500 horsepower. Got the big 52 inch tall 1600 R20 tires on them. These things are freaking tanks. So, which one are we picking first? Does it look good? Yeah. We gotta. I've not even looked at these things. We drag them off the trailer. Um, like I say, they do not run. This one does not open. I see that. So we drag them all off the trailer with this truck. These things have air brakes on them, so we have to put air into them to uh, roll them off. But I'll throw a couple clips in here of us uh, getting them off the truck. Hey, this just comes with its own batteries in here. What we got here, bud? Big old monster truck? Big old So we're grabbing this one first, huh? Mm-hmm. It's got a battery. That's a start. It's a start. We're showing 1,000 hours, 4,800 miles. So it looks somewhat complete in here. Hey, I know what's wrong with it. It needs drain. It ain't got no gas in it. That's right, Bob. We'll have to go through and check all the fluids, get in the shop. I think they drained everything. So our main goal is just to get this thing running. So we can take it to lunch. That's right. And if it does run, we'll take it to lunch. We're going to take it to lunch, Kevin says. We could. It may cost us $100 to get there, but we'll take it to lunch. We could. All right, we're going to get hooked up. Like I say, these things have air brakes on them. They have the maxi chambers, which are spring applied when there's no air in there. So what we got to do is throw air into it. Be our service truck. Are you going to be able to uh, make this turn here, Mr. Kevin? Oh, you put. Oh, you actually scooted the seat back for once. How's that feel? It's just because there's a battery in my way. Hey, you got to choke it. You got to have the choker stick up here, bud. Um, now I, try it. I can't reach that. <laughs> Yeah, throw air in out here. 
saw from your light piece a while ago. There's no idea there's no field trip tomorrow. I wasn't going anyways. I didn't change it. The kids, the kids are out of school today. How's the field be way up there, bud? We're waiting on we're waiting on air to fill up. Yeah, just first. We got the super duty service truck in low range four drive. Hang on, let's get some of those up. truck weighs just right around 40,000 pounds the way it sits right now. Hey, how'd it feel to be driving a big rig? Did you make motor sounds while you're driving around? Yeah. We want to, uh, these are big old trucks, ain't they? Yeah. We're just gonna start with one for right now? Probably sure. Okay. Yeah. You what? No, just leave it in there. Just make it even turn. I had some people asking me. I've had this truck for about uh, 10 or 12 years. The 1992 F Super Duty. It's been converted to four-wheel drive like my blue one. Um, it's got the 7.3 indirection injection on it. We did put a uh, turbo on it, but uh, just a little quick story. It does have the 513 gears, but we've got an air compressor, welder, and stuff on it. So. It's got like, what, 25,000 miles on it? Yeah. People's been asking about that truck. All these classic vehicles out here. I feel it's like, like I a, need to go get my Excalibur to put it out here. It's like a truck show. Oh. Hey, what'd you find out in here? You got a big old two-stroke Detroit in there? I hear an air leak already. Hmm. It sounds like we're gonna have a pretty good day. Oh boy. <laughs> Well, you're just jumping oh. right into the battery situation, huh? Well, I noticed there was a battery. Oh, we need to holler at Hunter. We need some fuel out of that truck, I Hunter! bet. Hunter! I see nothing wrong. Are these your car batteries? I see nothing wrong. They're Duralas Golds, bud. Yeah. Can we get our warranty back on them? So we got some 2015 batteries back here. Those are good, mm -hmm. right? Yep. 2021. It's close enough. It has enough. Who knows what they're doing? I, this does sound pretty empty. 
Oh, it's got a little bit of fuel. It even smells like old diesel. That's good for now. Big old air filter. That's right. You clean that one out. Just blow it out. Yeah. This is how you carry batteries, bud. You got battery carrier over here. You gotta work smarter, not harder. Like six hundred dollars worth of batteries, it's no big deal, right? Not my batteries. Mm -hmm. Nothing to see here, folks. Just a little spaghetti dish. Here. A lot of stuff going on. So they've got what? Twelve. Twelve parallel. here and twelve here. I got them parallel together, then they hook them in the in the in middle. Series. Series for twenty-four volt. It's all complicated. So Hunter and Mason have you got your military truck checklist out? That's right. We're getting her done. So I've checked the engine oil and transmission. It's okay for now to start it, but. Um, We'll probably change all the filters and stuff if this thing runs. So, what uh, Mason's doing, he's checking the planetary oil out here on these uh, axles, and then we'll go through and we'll check the oil level on all these axles in here in the center. So, if you guys don't know, these things have a rear steering axle here. There's a steering linkage that comes all the way from the front back here, allowing this axle to steer. So, the center two right there are just straight regular axles. That's kind of cool with this one. You see the steering linkage here. Air ride suspension. We got uh, some uh, cracks in those boys. I know where some new ones at sitting over here. Look at this big pile of airbags. Cause Napa knows how, Bob. Napa has got airbags in stock for HET. Okay. Take care. All right. It's rated just for your weight, Kevin. So you guys are getting axles checked. Um. We'll get a ladder and we'll check the antifreeze up here too. Hey Kevin, did you know that we have a big old turbo and a blower on these? What? Yeah. I'll be there in just a second. You'll be there in just a second. I thought you might. We turbocharge our supercharger? We've got a turbo blowing into a supercharger. That's a big one too. That blows Ooh. into a supercharger. Oh wow. You like that, don't you? That's a big lazy girl. 500 horsepower, two-stroke Detroit Fury right here. Two-stroke, like, wing, ding, ding, yeah. ding, 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 ding. This thing does that? It has no intake valves. Oh, it has fun. ports in the side of the cylinders that sucks in. It's got exhaust valves. Wild. Yep. If this doesn't pan out, we can always take the turbo off of it, right? And the supercharger? Yeah, and put it on. Like, so that's what they call, cool. you see the numbers on your hot rods? Mm -hmm. So that's an 871 blower. So we got like this. You know, you see a 671. 20 millimeter turbo going into an 871 blower. So that's where your blowers originated from, was from these Detroits. Mm -hmm. So this is an 892. The 92 stands for 92 cubic inches per cylinder, and there's eight of them. See, I always like diesels for this very this reason. This is very simple. Oh, I come up here to check the antifreeze. <laughs> that's how you make all the power. That one's dry, ain't it? Well, they got the valve shut off. See down here, they got it isolated from the other side. Hunter's up there checking the antifreeze. It's on the other side. They need some, did it? Thirsty. So I told Kevin I need to shut the door so it don't hit my head. Huh. But look, it clears five nine and a quarter. Don't do it to me, but. Huh. Have a dip. I think we'll go ahead and change a fuel filters before we try to start it, just to see what we got going on here. I know we got one here, and I think there's another one up on the engine, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at? I was trying to see if this ladder moves. Everything moves on here. It does. You got any fuel in there? No. It tries the bone. That ain't going to run, is it? Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's got it. Where's your power strength at now? Hey, did you tell everybody about our tool giveaway? I'm sure they've heard it in every video by now. <laughs> Guys don't know there'll be a link in the description below to win this whole freaking toolbox full of Harbor Freight tools.
And I can't win them, and I'm disappointed. So we're going to try these things out for a year and see how they hold up in a um, shop environment with professionals. And then we'll report back. What you got in there? We just need to clean her up and throw her up for fuel. And... Yeah. She'll look too pretty. So that's a, that's a heater to keep your fuel warm in the wintertime so it don't gel up. Yeah. Cut it off. Okay. We're going to simplify, okay? How about we revisit this in a little bit? But I, I started first. <laughs> We're working. Hey, <laughs> since everybody walked away, I'll do this myself. All right, all right. Okay. Did Hunter really just say that? What happened? Mason. Yeah. What are you doing? Putting diesel in. That looks like a gas can, Mason. It is. Dude, Mason. Do we have gas equipment right here? Nope. No. Nothing besides the lawnmower. <sighs> I got the primer pump to pick up fuel now. There we go. All right. We're so close. It helps when the primer pump's going up. Do you think it's enough? That's gonna work. But we're ready to light this beast off. We're close. Now you don't get a nosebleed way up there, bud. We got fuel blood out. You find your oil pressure gauge up there? Yep. Okay, you're gonna keep an eye on that? It's a zero. I bet it does. <laughs> How about you turn your power switch on and see if you got power? Oh. You didn't turn this one on, did you? A lot of beep. detectors going off, bub. <laughs> Low air. Yeah. All right. Find your oil pressure gauge. Yeah. Just start it, bud. Okay. Hang on. Did I see air blowing? You got that front line capped on the front, didn't you, Mason? Yes. Give it some fuel. Hold on the floor. Hang on a second. Anything leaking up here? No. All right, Kevin, try it again. To go out and bleed some fuel out of it. You need to go from the filter and do it on the side. Try it again, Kevin. Can't smoke them. Hang on. Probably ain't gonna start.
cord in here, you turn that on, put your mask on. <laughs> it's all that stuff back in the corner of the cab back here. Chemical alarm. Poopy alarm. Oh, smellers the fella. Yeah. I'm gonna check the transmission when I got it done. Looks like them boys are gonna have to air the tires up because I don't think this works. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I thought I seen it light up one time. Here's something now. Yeah, I'll do it. What do you think? You got one headlight out? You still got some lights on there, bud. Park lights are still on. You got a rocker on in there. Did you push too many switches? I'll find it. Huh? Over? You know how to drive it? Push your yellow knob in. You got brakes? Hey, he's gonna get his uh, learner's permit tomorrow, so he's good, right? Yeah. He's taking, road. yeah. Road. Got all the lights working? We need a new LED light there, do we? Which one? The one on the left. It's not lit up, is it? It's got three diodes in it. <laughs> well, it's got reverse. Kind of going crooked. Is he going to make it? What's this symbol here? I don't know. I think somebody tried to do a star. put some fuel in it. You take it over the fuel barrel. I guess they forgot to put fuel in it, Mason. Yeah. Kevin's got him talking into driving it around. <laughs> I guess they'll figure it out when they run out. Maybe he's taking a long cut. Kevin's got done got him talked in taking it out on the road. Big old truck.
this is the cabin up here. Yeah, I didn't know if I was gonna make it. Hey, are you mad, Uncle Scott? I'm so mad. How was it? Good. Get in the back. Oh, what? Did you see that? That looked what? dusty. Are you going to work on the motor? <laughs> What's in there? All kinds of cool stuff. Is there? I'm, I'm, wait, I'm waiting motor. for rattlesnakes first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob. You got to do a headliner? Why is the whole truck rocking? Uh, Uncle Scott, there's some children on the back. Boy, Randy needs to do a cleanup on aisle three. Randy. How full is our fuel tank, Hunter? Uh, I don't know. A speedometer don't work, though. I feel like driving that big old turd. Oh, Bob, I feel like I'm on king of the world. the world. On top of the world. What gear are you in in your transfer case here? Neutral. Or, or it says neutral. I don't know what it is. You got the train in neutral? You set your brakes? You gotta be safe. Foot was on a brake. You were in low range, wouldn't you? You yeah. had to put it in gear and rock forward once it gets done filling you up. What's up, brother? Coming in. Is that a sleeper cabin or what? Yeah. Is this screwed up? Yeah, right here. Get it. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Maybe you're the wrong button. It didn't do it, did it? Oh, bud. Oh, oh, bud. Now she's air ride. Come on. Huh? Keep going. She's out of air. Rev her up. Rev her up. Stan, <laughs> we gonna sit in the window? You gotta fit through there. <laughs> well, I gotta fit through there. Hey, bud. What's I wasn't this? built for the military, I'll tell you that. It's because his clod hopper's in the way. We don't know what we're doing. Hey, that's a little Kevin seat. Hey, oh, wait, I can see over the windshield. <laughs> okay, this is awkward. It's fine, bud. Really? Got about a quarter thing. Where's the rest of our family? We yeah. left him behind. It's right here. <laughs> I feel like one of the Griswolds had a wolf on rest or We need to drive this down. We need to take one of these to Vegas or something. That's right. <laughs> Just let this 14 year old out there on the road. Well, Come he's on. getting ready to. It's going to be on national television here in a second. Aha! <laughs> you don't need a license to drive. I you gonna put that in your mouth and start breathing? I can't get it off there. Hey, bud, what about these lights? These lights don't work. In case of oh, they do. I can't get it off. Okay. You act like, oh, seat belts. <laughs> See, this is your kind of truck. Safety first. Uncle Scott, where's your seat belt? I don't think we need him in here. Facing out of the way. I don't know where he went. If you okay. can't see him, just hit right. <laughs> Honk at him. Release your brakes. Shove your transfer. Oh, bud. This is getting wild. There you there go. There you go. Tell me there are way too many things Mason out of the way. Okay. Bob's leaving. Okay, if you want to go in gear. All right, let's go. Where are we going? We got to test drive it. Probably best that you test drive it. You currently don't have a license. Well, no, he's taking driver's courses. Oh, okay. You can just tell him you've drove the biggest truck in the world. <laughs> no, go out here oh, on the road. Right. Don't get Uncle Scott's truck more dusty. No, no, no. I was going to go swing out. Why? Oh, we'll go that way. Oh, we're going this way. Yeah. Going over railroad tracks, huh? We want to feel it. Are we going over railroad tracks? Yeah, just don't hit me. What? No way. You know how much dust is going to start rolling up in here in a second? That's all right. All right. Got it. Got turn, turn, turn. It's a big truck. You got her, buddy. Got her. Okay, yeah, just hold her on the floor right out of the gate. <laughs> it's the not truck. on the floor. Hey, what are we going to do if we die in this truck and we only Mason's there? Well, who drops that? Good deal. What is that? We can see it from the sky, buddy. I was going to say. Watch out, there's a power line. I feel like we're doing Google image. Google look at, look look at that. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> hold on the floor, bud. Send it across the track. You want to sit there? <laughs> We got air ride. Right? Hold her on the floor. I got a wheel. Come on, send it. Send it. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my. I like that big oh, seat back here. Did you just hit a tree? Oh, oh yeah. 
Oh, oh easy. Here comes the Look out, Ripper! <laughs> All right, you got her. It's okay. Oh, are we going to hit those? Everything looks so close. You're fine. You're fine. They got hauled in on the trailer. Okay. Down this way? Yeah. Right down the way. Watch, make sure those people don't try to pass you. Can you see out this mirror okay? Yeah. I'm not focusing. Oh, on there's a ditch here. <laughs> I looked at a mirror here. I'm going to the ditch. There's people walking in there. I bet the mirror is right too. <laughs> Please keep all hands and feet inside the vehicle. Lock your are. horn. <laughs> Golly. Oh my god, my head hurts now. <laughs> We're all gonna go to jail for letting a 14 year old drive. <laughs> it's considered a tractor, ain't it? Uh, up to so many miles away, right? Well, swing over and let those people bash you. And we'll see how fast we can get going. <laughs> yeah, we didn't like that 45 mile an hour sign. <laughs> can you see out this mirror, all right? I'm not looking out the mirror. No, I'm, I'm, gonna, the mirror. I'm gonna adjust it for you while you stop. Oh, yeah, good. Way too much. Oh, we're going. Feel right. the power. It's two of us is getting it. <laughs> I'm gonna drive halfway down the white line. Hey, it's fine. You got all kinds of road here, bud. What are we up to? Uh, it don't work. Oh no. I don't know if you need your phone now. Hyperdrive engaged. but we're not. Oh, here's trees. <laughs> oh, it's parallel. <laughs> oh, jeez. What's it feel like to be 12 foot in the air? <laughs> I'm trying to focus on one thing. You're telling me to look out the window. See if the hey, your right. driver's test, you passed. No need to take sure. all those classes. Oh, you got her. You're going to pull her off to the right up here after you oh, hit this okay. mailbox. Slow her down. Pull her in here. Don't run through the grass. Good job. Stressing me out here. We got four people in here. I'm four backseat. Right. There's only three of us. One, two, three, four. Well, nobody's He's talking to you. You're clear this way. Oh, you got one coming that way. <laughs> I'm quit rocking my chair. Sorry. I'm trying to drive this 400 pound, 1,000 pound. Got a car coming again. Oh Did you just poop in your pants? Better get it going, bub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bub. Oh, I grabbed another gear. Oh, we're already in fit. Oh, no. Watch out for trees. Oh, yeah. You know how many trees these trucks hit here in the way oh, on a trailer? Oh, Oh, gosh. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, there's Millie. Don't 
don't hit the middle of it. You gotta honk at her. You gotta wait till you get up there. <laughs> <laughs> <We've already tried. laughs> I don't have a car brand report until next week. <laughs> they got air rides. I just want to take right off through the middle of that field. kicks your front end in here if I remember right for all the extra traction I'll look at you pulling down low Hey, bud. Do I go back to shop? Let me get on.
you think? It's one heck of a beast, bub. It is. That's why you got locked the doors. That's all right. Well, I think we're about. <laughs> we didn't say that, did we? Well, I think we're about done with this. Uh, we got to do. We got to change the engine oil on it. Uh, we got a couple more filters to change, and uh, you guys got some airbags to change too, don't you? Yeah, after we just blew them out. <laughs> did you? They're still there yet. These airbags are all cracked up and stuff. But we may save that for the next one. Uh, you guys can watch us change those out because we got. Two more trucks here. It's supposed to be another one here shortly too. But uh, hey, you got a little bit of dirt under the tank here. <laughs> got a little bit of dirt everywhere, Bob. You know how that happened? I can't tell you. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what should we do with the truck? You know. I don't know, Bob. I touched it, so it must be more expensive. Oh, is that right? That's not how it works. So in the past, I've converted some of these to dump trucks. They don't work that well. Um, reason is because of the air suspension. We have put a couple camper bodies on them, but uh, you can use them for uh, heavy trailers, rescue, wrecker bodies. But uh, drop in the comments below what you guys might want to see on one of these, and we might do something cool with it. So I've got a blank canvas here we can start with. So they are pretty cool trucks for sure. So, but uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you liked the video. Everything's starting and running good. So if you did, give us a big thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. You want to see more cool stuff like this you're not subscribed go ahead and jump on over and click it hit that notification button so you don't miss out on the uh tucker tucker come over here and talk to your fans oh my gosh do what you almost if you just waited like a minute longer you would have missed the end of the video oh, i should have waited yeah no. we can get it you want to drive a truck no I'm good. we hit your sweet jump out there yeah i can tell that what uh what are we gonna do with this truck we're gonna turn it into a camper oh they're gonna comment below oh okay comment below that cost me a lot of money yeah after you sold the camper can't take it with you. the camper's gone people <laughs> we're just upgrading we are, we're upgrading power plant so anyway y'all your lights are on too hunter we appreciate appreciate you guys watching we'll catch you next time Champion Cole check off! Woo! Woo -hoo! Hey, where are you going? Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh! Cole Trickle's making funny noises! <laughs>